Hey guys, it's Chris. We just got a package in from up north. So a while ago I ordered a whole boatload of parts from Mr. Frank and I saw something on his website that I just had to get. Two coin cell adapters. Ordered a cap kit for 4000D. Frank, as always, hooks me up with parts to give away to you guys. Four dip chip pin straighteners. I'm always pushing these bad boys like crack. Well, Mr. Frank is the crack dealer and here you go. So if you want one of these, comment down below with your best Amiga story. Whoever's got the coolest one, I will contact you and you will get a dip pin di uh, chip. Yep, a straightener dude. But finally, I actually did pay uh, 200 and something dang old dollars for this thing. This is the A630. I saw Mr. Doug Tenmark got one of these and I'm like, ooh, I gotta get one. This was $225. I used my own coupon code, no code, and saved 25 bucks. I don't know if that's Canadian. If you're interested in saving 10% off, enter the code no code, N-O-C-O-D-E, at Retro Rewind CA when you check out, and you can save, like, a lot of money. I saved $25 on my own order. Cool. So I ordered two coin cell batteries, a capacitor kit, and an A630 Rev 2. I told him, I said, don't need the batteries, just the holders for future repairs. So anyway... Thank you, Frank, for that. This is the, uh, before installing this product, please read through the installation instructions on our support website. Failure to do so could damage your machine or this product or may even create a singularity that we could swallow the, what? It may even create a singularity that could swallow the entire universe, although we're not too sure about the last one. Retro Rewind.ca. And this is the Retro Rewind edition of the A630 with the cooling fan. Ooh ha hee ha. This is going to replace my infuriating furia. Be done with that thing. Serial number 1035. So this is going to go and replace the furia in my A600 number one. That way I can put the infuriating furia in another. So let's grab the A600. And we're going to plop it on the bench, and we're going to get busy. Here's my Amiga 600 Fury Edition. We've seen this 4,877 times on this channel. So First, I'm going to make sure it works. This is my Furia. We're going to baseline before. The A630 does not have an FPU. The Furia does. The Furia is an ECO20, whereas the A630 is self-explanatory. Still booting, it takes my Furia a little bit because it just wants to make you mad one more time. Boris did reach out to me and offer me firmware 414 or something like that. Didn't make a daggone lick of difference. This is a baseline. We're just going to go into work and sys info. I did take the RGB to HDMI out because I kept knocking it off. I need to fix that. This is an older version. We're going to use the same version for each one. So ECO20 6882 FPU. So here is your benchmark on the Furia. I think I'm 33 megahertz, 34, 37. So 37.70, I'm going to give it the old cold shower tug. Whoop, make it a little longer. You know how it is. Ooh, smell the rubber. 37 megahertz. Another good thing to do is AIBB. We're going to use uh, SC Math on 020. Now, FPU clock, 33 megahertz. CPU clock, 33 megahertz. Let's get a base mark on Beach Ball. Holy bar mitzvah. That took forever. 81.22 seconds. So, you can see I am here, the Amiga 600 Turret Edition is right here, 1,200, 3,000, 4,000. So it's not bad. That's the only test I'm going to run because that's the only one that I feel like running. Grab the Furia. There she is. Out she came. If you didn't see that, I just grabbed here, lift it up. One of these little thingies I lost the last time. So this goes eh, close enough. Now, to repair my own issue, I'm going to take my RGB to HDMI and put it back over this Denise here. If it will hold, I feel like dropping some hot glue on that sucker. I wonder if that would work. It doesn't get that hot. 
that crystal is so close and that actually might be beneficial because so the A630 sits right here here's the 68,000 you kind of squish crap over top of it and you have to put this little foam block right here this guy hot snot this down because it always pops off I need to get this thing out of here too I keep saying I want to take it out and run my HDMI cable out there because it's the perfect spot for it now before you go and flambe me for hot glue my own product down this is why I just put some snot in there because this machine has a problem with holding this down and this will help hold this down I'm actually going to give this time to cool properly that's good enough let's back it out and make sure it works first on the stock 68,000 before I go gung-ho and we should see our screen HDMI is now working I don't have the button hooked up I have a button but I'm not putting it in yet you can just see it's crystal flipping clear it's the best that Amiga has ever looked so if you are part of RGB to HDMI right anything to do with RGB to HDMI thank you guys thumbs up from many thousands of us Amiga owners all right now I'm gonna unplug this for now this stays so side by side the Furia and the A630 smaller less footprint bigger RAM chips more RAM let's put that pad down crystal method make sure you cover up well I'm even giving her the old tuck around the side there you know about the tuck Taiwan tuck we'll just go whoop all right that's a nice soft pad too from there we're gonna take this mofo stick it over this hole and squish wow that went on nice and secure cable clearance is tight for this I can just scoot this over a little bit how about that let's uh let's fire it up energize comes right on we got a red light I guess that's power no nothing's on the front I just want to see what's happening on the old card I don't have 030 libraries on this so it might freak out and I might have to put libraries on it well it booted right up now remember my RGB to HDMI preferences are not set we were in VGA mode which is still plugged in first off is this info speed previous results were this so here we go there's our results I gave her the old cold shower pull you know the pull this CPU is currently running at 51 megahertz that's where it's getting its math from we're going to go into memory right now I have 64 megs of 32-bit CPU fast RAM you know what that means number one that smokes the freaking Furia why? Because this is 32-bit fast RAM off the CPU. You are not limited to PCMCIA mess. Two megs a chip, of course, that's factory. That is flipping awesome. 3.2.1, two megs a chip, 65 megs of fast RAM. You know what that means? It means I can use my compact flash card, and it should work without Fs. If this is the one that works on the 600 also. Yep. Here's my compact flash card with all my stuff, and let's hook my keyboard up proper. Sorry about the overabundance of fans you're hearing. 3D printing, second inverters running. Built-in fan on this, going to keep it nice and cool. This is a floating point calculation, but the other one was 83 seconds on the floating point coprocessor. So far, I'm highly impressed with the simplicity of this card. No Fs, just works. POW, 64.22. So we beat it without a floating point unit. 50 megahertz, no FPU, nothing. And we still beat the Furia without an FPU. For an A600 at 50 megahertz, this is purely an awesome gaming machine, productivity machine, music machine, art machine. You know how much you can do with an ECS A600 with 64 megs of fast RAM, 2 megs of chip, an SD card hard drive, RGB to HDMI and a cooled cooling uh, active cooled CPU at 50 megahertz that 32 bit fast RAM alone just sold me a 630 Rev 2 225 dollars I did buy batteries for eight bucks and 13 bucks for a cap kit for a four thousand because I was out and then I ordered more because it took a while to get here but now I have more uh, I use my own code no code save twenty five dollars 
254 bucks, 31 dollars in shipping and taxes, and uh, 260 bucks I spent. But I had parts for other stuff. So 225 dollars of U.S. or Canadian something currency, and you can get one of these bad boys too. Would I recommend it? Yes. For a detailed, in-depth review of math, science, and other goodness, really in-depth, go check out Doug at 10 Mark. He did a review on this a few weeks, maybe a month or so back, and really covers this in great detail. He was one of the first people to get the A630, and as soon as I saw that video, I just said, I'm ordering it, and that's when my journey began too. So that is the A630 for the Amiga 6. I almost said the Amiga 1200 for the Amiga 600. Get yours today from Frank at Retro Rewind. You didn't give me any candy, Frank. What's up? I'll let you slide this time. Something maple next time, maybe. So that has been my review of the A630 from RetroRewind.ca. Get yours today. Use my code, no code, and save an additional 10% off your order. And know that you're helping out a starving man in Canada. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you, and as always, Hope you learned something.